Now next step will be creating trees with these alignments. In the previous tutorial, we've already covered how to align sequences. And then next step will be pretty easy, the tree. Um, you just select the sequences aligned and then click on tree. A couple of options, Genius Tree Builder, RexML, Fast Tree. Now I would like to go with two different trees, one with Genius Tree Builder and then the other one is going to be RexML. RexML because it doesn't take a lot of time and then Genius Tree Builder because it lets me um, put in bootstrap values. So let's start with the Genius Tree Builder. I'm just going to go ahead and do 1000 replicates for bootstrapping. So it's a rapid bootstrap. We don't have any outgroups. Um, I would like to use neighbor joining and Juke's Cantor genetic distance model is fine. Let's go ahead and click OK. This shouldn't take too long. And this is the tree we get. So what I'd like to do is reroute the tree by clicking on this. Click on root. And now what we see is we got Homo sapiens, we got Gorilla Gorilla, Pongo, Pongo Pygmius. Now let's go ahead and create another tree based on this sequence. Let's save this tree, RaxML, OK. And this is what we got. So I would like to reroute this tree as well. And this is what we got. So the differences are pretty obvious within these trees. One is not better than the other in all cases. In this case, we know that the closest relatives to Homo sapiens, to so the humans, are actually um, bonobos and chimpanzees, which is not reflected in Genius Tree Builder, but we can actually see that in RexML tree. The method you're going to be choosing is going to depend on your research, but most of the time, the trees, if you are getting very different trees with different algorithms, then the problem is probably in your alignments or you're not choosing the right settings for your um, tree building method. And this is how you create phylogenetic trees on Genius Prime.